like to thank the invitation for me to have this opportunity opportunity to speak to share uh, Shenzhen's experience with everybody. From the topic, this is about Shenzhen and about the Shenzhen's economic transformation, and this is very suitable for for Shenzhen. Shenzhen has always been in the process of transformation. In the last 30 years, it has changed from a small fishing village to a metropolitan and from a, a agricultural dominated uh, city to an industrial driven metropolitan. And also shifted from a planning economy into a, into a, a market economy opening to the outside world. And this is an outward looking economy. I will briefly introduce Shenzhen's development. And we can see from this map. And then the front part is Hong Kong, and the inland area is the hinterland is Shenzhen. I always say Shenzhen. When I introduce Shenzhen, I tell them, oh, this is Hong Kong's neighbor, and people don't know where we are. Now, after you've seen this map, you will know where we are. 150 years ago, Shenzhen and Hong Kong belongs to the same district. 30 years ago, the Shenzhen story started. Uh, Mr. Deng Xiaoping visited Guangzhou 30 years ago. Then Shenzhen was very poor. Many people uh, escaped into Hong Kong to seek a better life. In order to, to drink a Coke and Pepsi, they ran to Hong Kong. Many people said to Deng Xiaoping at that time, we need to take uh, a strict measures to control the border. Deng Xiaoping said, no, this is because our policy is not good. It's not, not uh, because of our uh, people. Then he went back to Beijing. Shenzhen has become China's first economic zone. In 30 years, the GDP has increased uh, 10,000 times. And Shenzhen and Hong Kong, before we were only the one thousandth of Hong Kong's GDP, and now it's Hong Kong's GDP is 73 percent. This is a picture of Shenzhen in 1980. Maybe you cannot see it very clearly. The, the hill there is Hong Kong. And this is Shenzhen in 2005, the same place. And this is looking at Shenzhen from Hong Kong. Every time when I send uh, the, the picture to our foreign friends, they are all amazed to see Shenzhen's change from 30,000 people, little city, to uh, 14 million people. And this is 2010, the Shenzhen CBD. And yeah, look afar, the city is spreading away is spreading uh, uh, further into uh, outskirt areas. So our GDP is Singapore 70 percent, and the trade is whole China's 9.1 percent of total China's trade. And the next export about half, about 50 percent of China's next export. And for the last few years, has been uh, 30 percent of China's uh, net export in average. And Shenzhen is the fourth largest container in the world, container port in the world. In the process of transformation, we need to see, and this is, uh, a chart of the past five years, the change in the uh, lowest salary. So China's lowest salary, uh, minimum salary has increased substantially. The average in Shenzhen, the salary has increased substantially. This is the biggest challenge we are facing now. The cheap labor, the area of cheap labor is no longer here. Our average GDP is about $20,000. We have to think about when we reach 20,000, 30,000, and 50,000, what 
industry can we rely on to develop Shenzhen? And this is this is a chart on increasing our industry's uh, value to move our industry industry up to the uh, up the value chain. Before we rely on making T-shirts and making apparels and shoes and suitcases, that's thirty years ago. And later we moved to the IT industry. At that time, at that time, many. Many uh, uh, products are made in made in China is actually made in Shenzhen. Now this is we are at our third stage. We actually make we make uh, things in Shenzhen. We have our own brand. For example, Huawei, Zhongxin. These are two main systems, not just two companies. They are a big industrial block. This has propelled Shenzhen. Into a largest a wireless manufacturing base, and people ask me uh, where Shenzhen is. Uh, I said it's Hong Kong's neighbor. They don't know. Uh, they still don't know where we are. And then I said, oh, "This is where Huawei is." And they said, "Oh no, I know Huawei." Before thirty years ago, only have seven to eight people. Now they have a hundred fifty thousand employees and has many branches in the world. Zhongxin is the same way. Thirty years only have seven to eight people. Now they have a hundred thousand employees, and uh, they are really famous for wireless manufacturing. Uh, for wireless manufacturing. And we have seen a lot of R and D activities in Shenzhen, and uh, the R and D's uh, proportion in GDP is over three point seven percent, and this is a very high uh, level. What we need to do is to increase the quality of the city and make our city an innovating city, not just for companies. We also want to uh, create more universities, set up more universities to to uh, train more uh, talents. So far, we have done. We have seen uh, a lot of uh, patents in Shenzhen. Twenty uh, years ago, we only have uh, patents in the hundreds. Twenty years ago, is in the uh, thousands. Last year, the patents is close to seventy thousand, and in PC PCT application, Shenzhen in the last seven years is the four is takes about forty percent of whole China the PCT uh, application. Of course, uh, Zhongxin and uh, Huawei are the two major uh, players. Huawei Huawei ranked the third in the world. For Shenzhen, if we want to overcome the problem of rising labor cost, we need to increase our level, our standard of design. And uh, UNESCO has uh, names named the Shenzhen as the city of design. Now we have uh, the top class designers in Asia. Shenzhen's apparels. Are on par with Korea. It's still behind Japan. Uh, it's considered the, uh, one of the best in Asia. They're designers. Shenzhen's apparel is about 40% of the whole China's apparel production. In the future, we want to do more on the IT industry and move to a new material, new energy source, and finance. I would like to tell uh, you a story. In Qianhai, this uh, 15 uh, square meter land, three years ago it is still a wasteland. Now we want to build a modern service area. It means you can have free exchange of R and B, and foreign companies. They can they can uh, uh, send loan to the Chinese companies. Now this goes back to the beginning slides. 
Shenzhen and Hong Kong in the future will become a more integrated uh, area. And now, the uh, the combined GDP of Hong Kong and uh, uh, Hong Kong and uh, Shenzhen is about uh, 40, 400, 400, million, 400 billion. Thank you.